Well, hello, this is you, Abigail, and I would like to welcome you to our seventh episode of FTB Infinity. And you can see behind me here, uh, actually, we'll just go ahead and turn around real quick. Uh, you can see over here, I went ahead and uh, added a tree farm. Uh, unfortunately, I made it a little too wide and a little too deep. I put in a, uh, uh, a radius increase 3 to, you know, make this produce quite a lot of lumber. And unfortunately, yeah, it's producing way more than our uh, Coke ovens can handle at this time. So uh, I decided to go ahead and, you know, utilize some of this creosote oil. And I made a, uh, a fluid transposer and a crafter to create some of this uh, creosote wood blocks. And, you know, that's helping, but it's still not keeping up. So I decided to go ahead and, you know, start working on our second tier of uh, or our second level of uh, Coke ovens up here. Still got a few of them to build, but I know that's not going to be enough to, to handle what we're uh, producing over here. So I'm probably going to do another set on this side over here as well, but uh, we'll just build those as we go because, yeah, we've got other projects to work on as well. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll update some more on that later. Um, something else I did since the last episode is I, I started clearing out an area over here and building this structure. Uh, this is going to be a storage room. We're going to go ahead and use the, the, the storage uh, drawers uh, for this storage room, you know, rather than going directly to applied energistics. Uh, just because I want to see how it's going to look and fit within here. And I plan on uh, uh, piping the wood and the creosote wood blocks and stuff like that from over there to over here to add to the storage room, as well as whatever we get from our mines down below here. So we'll be uh, moving that, that pipe there into here at some point. Also, uh, just so you know, the, the cobblestone transport pipe is gone because it, you just couldn't see it in this tunnel with the color scheme that I had went with and this just contrasts a lot better and you can actually see the pipes and that's that's what I wanted so yeah that's that's done and uh, as far as building this structure out here goes I'm gonna go ahead and build just uh, one of the arches on camera for you and I'll do the rest of them off camera because yeah I'm sure you don't want to watch me build these all day but uh, what I'm doing here is I went ahead and I built the first arch and then I, I decided it was too small and didn't look right, so I tore it down and rebuilt it and rebuilt it a couple times until I arrived at a height that I liked. And uh, I then just replicated the arches all the way along. So this is the procedure for which I'm uh, doing this. So what I'm doing is I'm picking the middle block, one, two, three, four in this case. And right here is where we will be pillaring up. So we know we've got, we've got one pillar here, so we know that we're going to need to build this one to match. So what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and pillar up as needed and place these blocks in if we can target it properly. And we've got to go up a little higher. And it's very important to get these uh, exactly the same height. Otherwise, it will look funny and it won't, will not work. So I'm using the dirt block just as a temporary up. Oh, and of course, I've done that several times. Uh, yeah, and uh, what we'll do is we'll just stack on top of this as well to match what we're doing over here. So one more, then in by one, up by one, in by another one. And then uh, actually we should have done that here as well. So uh, we'll just go ahead and sneak over here real quick. And we went up three, and then in by one. up by one, in by one, and then we make our connection right here. And then we'll use our uh, stone excavator to take these blocks out. And there we have another arch completed. And you can see it matches the others. And then we, you know, we'll just repeat that all the way around, at least until we get to there. We will not do an arch between here and here because this is our entryway into our our building, our storage area. And I have not yet decided what I'm going to build here. I may build like uh, a, an extra thick arch or, uh, you know, like a gatehouse kind of entryway. I'm not sure yet. 
and I still haven't decided what I'm going to put behind these arches, what kind of a wall. This is just temporary just so I could line out the area that we're going to be claiming for this build. So yeah, I'll go ahead and continue working on this off camera as time goes on and uh, we'll see what happens. So uh, for now, however, we do need to decide upon a project to do for today. And I'm kind of thinking that I might want to go ahead and see about building over there because we, if I'm correct, have a captured spawner, a zombie spawner. And, uh, you know, like right now, uh, oh, yeah, I'm running around with uh, unenchanted armor. And, you know, we've got some experience saved up in our drum over here, how much we got over here. Uh, probably about 40 levels, maybe 50 levels worth in there, and we're going to need to start enchanting some stuff if we're going to be progressing any further. So I'm going to go ahead and look for the Diamond Dolly if I have it. If not, I'm going to build one and go down and get the, get the spawner, and then uh, we'll start building a little mob trap over there for it. So I'll be right back. Alrighty, well, I've got just about everything I think we're going to need here, so uh, let's go ahead and decide exactly what we're going to do. Now, for our flooring, I'm probably going to use either the stone bricks or the temple blocks. I'm not sure yet. The temple blocks have several variations, which uh, we can check out with the chisel. You can see we've got many different variations that we can use. So uh, I'm going to save doing the floor until later, however. We need to decide exactly what we're going to, uh, uh, what direction we're going to put this. And I'm thinking that I want to do like some kind of a stairway leading up here. Uh, so assuming that we're going to do that, uh, we need to go ahead and figure out where the center of this platform is assuming that the platform goes all the way out here to that stone block. So uh, we'll go ahead and count this out real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Ah, uh, so if we're gonna if we're going to use a twenty, then uh, uh, we'll assume. 20 in that direction or or whatever maybe 20 back from that end over there uh, maybe we'll cut that off to 18 and we'll use this line right here so uh, 18 divided by 2 being 9 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 would be here and here if we were going to do a 2 wide but if we do a 4 wide we can include this one here so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and mark this Two, three, four wide there. So therefore, this will be our stair stairwell. So uh, we're going to want to build this roughly here. Maybe we'll have our drop point. Yeah, we'll use this as our drop point right there for right now. So assuming that is going to be our drop point, we're going to need to build a tube facing upward starting right here and we're using the clear glass so that we can reclaim it later if we need to and we'll go up uh, maybe see I know I don't want the zombies able to jump back up and I do want them to be far enough away actually yeah that should be just about high enough. In fact, we can go ahead and take out this backside one right here. And we'll reclaim that for now. So, uh, I built these conveyor belts and we'll, we'll go ahead and use those for uh, building our platform, our channel. So we're going to need to go back a total of at least nine. So that'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We need to go back at least this far for our channel. So uh, we'll go ahead and lay these in here. And it'll carry them this way. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and just for temporary purposes 
place these here and we're going to go ahead and start using our temple blocks. Now we need to decide exactly what we're going to do with those and I'm thinking for the underfloor we may want to go ahead and go with I'm thinking a lighter color so maybe these large temple blocks we'll use those and see how it looks we can always swap this out later so we're gonna do one high with these all the way around this central channel just like that and then I'll go ahead and build the platform out we need to go eight so it would be four in this direction and four in that direction and then one in the center would be nine so I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera because it'll take a little while and I'll be right back alrighty I went ahead and went back and got the spawner itself and I've already figured out where the center is and uh, we're gonna be placing the spawner directly on top of this block here uh, we still need to add in our uh, conveyor belts and I honestly think that we are going to be one short on these so I may have to make some more rails but uh, we'll go ahead and start placing these in and these are just going to direct the zombies in that direction if we like if we were standing on it it would just drop us right down there so uh, we're gonna go ahead and do this real quick and I'll go ahead and do this off camera again because uh, yeah it takes a little while to place these in and I'll be right back and of course I was one short uh, so anyway, I went ahead and made some more, and uh, yeah, we wound up with now seven extras. But anyway, uh, we're going to get ready to go ahead and place a spawner on here and get rid of that. So uh, we'll just go ahead and cover these up for now. This way we don't have to mess with uh, worrying about being transported along. So we'll just go ahead and place that there, remove that, and then we'll go ahead and get rid of this dirt. now we just need to build the walls up and finish out this cage so I'm gonna go ahead and take that uh, take care of that what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up by two and then put a roof on top of that this way uh, uh, there's maximized spawning space and we're gonna put two blocks on top of the spawner itself so this way they don't they do not spawn on top of the spawner and then just stand there so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that and I will be right back alrighty we are going ahead and putting the finishing touches on the roof here and we've already had one zombie spawn in the dark darked in area but uh, we'll go ahead and finish this up and then we'll head down and we'll work on the killing mechanism yeah I'm not gonna worry about prettying this up at this point we just need to get it functional oh might want to uh light the top of this up this way we don't have any nasty surprises drop down on us while we're uh, working here so we'll put one there one there one there one there and we'll go ahead and take out this one extra block that we placed to get up and then we'll go ahead and place one right there as well so we'll go ahead and head down real quick and see what we got going on down here and you can see they are here waiting on us you know if we wanted to we could kinda of, you know maybe poke them through the corners a little bit but that's not the way we're going to kill them also we still have to cover this up but I'll worry about that later right now I do want to set up the killing mechanism and for that I brought a grinder so we'll go ahead and set the grinder up behind here and if I remember right actually we got a face in this direction here and yes that is perfect yeah it doesn't need to be you know directly in front of them it kills in an area so it should be fine right there and we're going to need our fluid ducts and our energy conduits so we're going to draw our fluid out the side here because we're going to be getting mob juice from this and just for the time being we're going to set down a drum yeah alright yeah a drum and we'll put it uh, yeah we'll go ahead and put it right there and we'll just set it to insert here and we will extract from here 
And then we're going to need to set up our dynamo. I brought a reactant dynamo uh, right here, and I brought some uh, gunpowder just to, just to get it started. And we're going to set the reactant dynamo right there. And we'll go ahead and take our energy from there and run it to here. Go ahead and make that connection. And we will need to connect our fluid conduit to here. Insert there. Extract from there. Now, I did bring also a leadstone energy cell just to get this thing started. So uh, we'll go ahead and place that right there. And we'll see how it's configured. I placed it there so the back side needs to be our output. I'm correct, that would be it. Yes, there we go. All righty. So we are now getting mob juice. We're getting essence. So we'll go ahead and throw our gunpowder in here just so it can get started. And this will start killing these guys off. Leadstone energy cell is now empty, so we can go ahead and take that back. We no longer need that here. Alrighty, and therefore we now have a working mob spawner. And we are collecting uh, essence now, which we can use for enchanting or for uh, converting into XP, liquid XP via, you know, turning it into uh, bottled XP and then throwing it down or whatever but uh, we can mess with that later uh, we'll go ahead and stop working on this project for now because it is working and uh, I'm gonna continue working on that over there and I will be right back and well there we have it uh, I went ahead and uh, decided to go with this concrete reason being the reason I decided to go with the concrete is because you run extremely fast on it and I have found that, you know, in whatever base area you're going to have, you generally tend to spend a lot of time running around from place to place. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and go with concrete. I'll mix this up later to make it look a little better. But for now, uh, this is what we're going to go with. I went ahead and expanded this also into a 3x3 three three interior, so, interior, so this way we can do uh, multiple stairwells up. Uh, you know, we can either go side to side or we can go with a spiral staircase, but whatever. Uh, also, uh, I was originally going to do like a 3x3 three three piston door, but all the piston doors I looked at take forever uh, comparatively to open and close. So, you know, when you're dealing with this kind of a speed, you need something that's going to open and close quickly. So I went with these carpenter's doors, and you can see they open and close really quick. So we don't have to stop. We can just keep running through. Now, inside of this uh, little tunnel right here, I'm going to have an area on one side where we can drop items off into the sorting system. And on the other side, I'm probably going to have like uh, a backup capacitor bank. So this way, like if we needed to charge something up, we could charge it up real quick and then head back out without having to head deeper into the actual storage room, which is going to be located in this area here. And I'll be building that later. Uh, I'm going to pretty well uh, end you know working on this right here for now uh, we are going to now uh, get ready to go down and do some work down in the mines just because so I'll meet you there alrighty we are down here at the end of the branch mine uh, main tunnel uh, or, or actually it's like a side branch of the main tunnel anyways it's the uh, we we come down the shaft this way on the railroad and we've got the left branch and the right branch and then the forward one this is the left branch and we're down here near the end of it because I had actually encountered this huge complex of uh, abyssal stone and yeah we're gonna uh, go ahead and clear some of this out as long as we're down here and we'll actually work some more on this tunnel later I, actually there was another whole section of it let me see if I can find it it was up through here. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and clear as much of this out as we can. And we'll go ahead and collect the resources, especially these emeralds. We need emeralds for a couple of different things, and we haven't really found too many villagers to trade with. So 
we'll go ahead and grab these right now and I, like I said you know I'll go ahead and clear some of this out and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll decide what to do with this abyssal stone I'm thinking you know we might do a large build of some kind with it uh, but I haven't decided what that might be yet it'll, it'll either be like a skyscraper somewhere or some kind of uh, build in the nether I think it would look really good there not too bad of a haul uh, yeah we wound up breaking through to uh, some water somewhere and I had to plug that up but uh, yeah we got uh, got our couple of emeralds we got some uh, sapphires and the diamond already went and as soon as we get some room here we'll go ahead and throw this tin ore in here as well and we'll continue going uh, this flux capacitor is empty so we will go ahead and continue charging with this one and we'll go back for another trip alrighty well both of our uh, uh, flux capacitors are out of energy now so uh, yeah our mine is currently sending items up and we will see what all has arrived up here Oh yeah, it's starting to arrive. I did have a, a, a prior trip when I expanded the mine a little bit and encountered that, so I have not cleaned this out yet. So we will go ahead and take a bunch of this stuff out of here and run it back up to the house for now. And let's go ahead and charge up our flux capacitors and our hammer. Alrighty, well anyway... I do believe we've reached about the time limit for this episode. I do want to thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Until then, this is you, Abigail, saying have a great day.